This Apple retail store in Palo Alto, California is one of more than 360 Apple stores around the world. The Apple store is, of course, one of the most profitable stores in America. The average store attracts some 20,000 visitors every week. And people do some pretty crazy stuff in an Apple store. They propose in an Apple store, and yes, some actually have gotten married in an Apple store. A lot of people like to take video of themselves doing funny dances and uploading the video to YouTube or Facebook. Why? Why would they do such a thing? I believe it's because Apple, or more specifically, the folks in the blue shirts who work for Apple, the employees, the specialists, make people feel happy. They make their customers feel good about their experience in the store. And who doesn't want to feel good? In my research into the Apple retail store, I discovered that they followed five steps of service in each and every transaction. These are steps that apply to any field, any company, in any industry. And I know they'll work for you. Think of Apple as an acronym, A-P-P-L-E. Those are the five steps, A-P-P-L-E. A, approach with a personalized warm welcome. That means have somebody who is passionate and friendly greet guests as they walk into the door. Ask them questions about what they're in the store for and maybe get their first name. First names are very powerful. So that's the first step. P, probe politely to understand a customer's needs. That means ask a series of closed and open-ended questions to best match the product with the customer. Not to sell the customer the most expensive product, but the best product to match their needs. The second P in Apple is actually the third step of service. P stands for present a solution the customer can take home today. I love this step because so few businesses actually do it. For example, uh, let's say somebody is a, a little reluctant to put down several hundred dollars for an iPad today. A specialist or a sales associate at the Apple store might say something like, that's okay. Why don't we sign you up for a free workshop to find out all of the wonderful and amazing things you can do with the iPad? See, so even though they did not sell the person a product, they still presented a solution that the customer could take home today. L stands for listen for and resolve issues or concerns. This step again is very important and I, I really believe that it makes a difference if the specialist or salesperson is a little bit more experienced with the sales process. Uh, but when it works, it's very effective and very powerful. So listen for unresolved issues. That simply means that customers have what are called uh, unexpressed wishes or desires. So there are things that are important to the customer but they may not be giving a voice to those issues. For example, perhaps a customer looking at an iPad might be reluctant to buy the iPad because they're not sure if it's going to replace their portable computer when they're on the road. So a skills specialist will be listening for this conversation and suggest accessories like wireless keyboards that might turn the iPad into a truly ultra portable computer. But you're not going to get to that point unless you probe, you've asked questions, and you're listening for the responses. Listen for and resolve issues or concerns. And finally, E. End with a fond farewell and an invitation to return. You know, the, the last thing that people remember about a conversation or a transaction is typically one of the most important things that will lead to a better perception of that particular brand. Now that last part, end with a fond farewell, but an invitation to return is really where loyalty gets built. For example, a specialist might say something like, we know you're going to enjoy your new Mac, uh, you mentioned photographs that you like to edit and organize photographs and maybe create a photo album. You know that upcoming trip to Disneyland would be a great time for you to create a photo album. When you do, would you bring it back and show it to me? I'd love to see it and maybe I can give you some tips along the way. So what I've just done is I've acknowledged that relationship that we've built, but I've invited you to return to the store. These five steps are really, really powerful. And they work for a lot of brands. Many other major brands have adopted and modified the five steps for that brand. 
They're very effective, they're very persuasive, great communications, and you have to train your staff to go through each and every one of the five steps in every transaction, in every conversation. I know they're going to work for you because they make people feel acknowledged as soon as they enter a store or do business with you. They make people feel appreciated and enthusiastic and above all, happy. Make people feel happy. They will reward you with their loyalty. That's the Apple way.